Hi, good morning, everyone. Once again, welcome to today's um Tickmail live trading session. I'm Emily. Um, I'm a new analyst. I just joined um Everest Fortune Group. So Everest Fortune Group is you know in collaboration with Tickmail to do these um live trading sessions, um and other other webinars. Okay. So before we start the session, please take note that um the material is for educational purpose only. And uh, please do your own due diligence before you enter into any trade. So today we'll look through at some of the major indices. And if you have any um pairs that you like to um go through together, please let me know in the comment section. So okay, I will go through the um dollar yen first. Then later on we will go through um um some other oil. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay. Let me start with the dollar index first. Okay. Can you see the general direction? Okay, it's a bit below the you can see right now the price is below the Ichimoku cloud. It's kind of um bearish, a little bit bearish right now. So let's try to try to find the support and resistance. Just Okay, and I think this would be a good support level. So when we go through the, when we draw the support and resistance line, um, let's try to you know, um, let it cut across as many weeks as, as possible. Okay, and this. This. Um, first resistance. Looks like good. Second resistance. Okay. The current price is over here. And... This can be a good immediate immediate support support level. And support level and okay let's draw some see if there's any Fibonacci retracement So you can see the price is currently at this um immediate support line over here, uh, moving towards the first support line. Okay, sorry, let me change this. Okay. 
moving towards the first support line here. And then on the first resistance level, it is also in line with the 38.2% of Fibonacci retracement, as well as the first support level is also in line with the 61.8% retracement level. Okay, after this, we can look at um the dollar pound, uh, sorry, euro dollar, dollar, pound dollar, and also some of other um, other pairs that you guys mentioned. Okay, so this will be for um dollar index. Okay, let's look at Okay, so from here you can see there is um immediate first support line over here. So let's try to put it down. This will be your first support line. And for the second support, it's here. Second support, you can see it's like multiple swings and then it's pull back so it's touching the support line multiple times so this will be quite a um, strong support and right now the price is right above the let's see ichimoku cloud let's look for make the chart smaller look for any resistance levels the next resistance level is quite far away okay so it will be around the I think this would be good because it's you right after. Okay, let me draw the line first. See, this is a swing high, and from there it plunges all the way down. So this is a very strong um resistance level. Okay, so you guys can see, and the price is currently. trying to break through the first resistance level. And if you were to identify another resistance level, the next one would be here, which is a swing high. Hi, Michael. When the price is above the Ichimoku cloud, okay, let me turn on the Ichimoku cloud. Okay. So you see, um, Ichimoku is a um, um, technical indicator. So you see this, we call this as clouds. So these are the Ichimoku clouds. So uh, when the price is above the Ichimoku cloud, means it's um, bullish, it's in bullish momentum. Whereas if the price is uh, below the cloud, um, it's in bearish momentum. Okay, let's see if I can find you an example. Okay. So if you see this part over here, the price is below the Ichimoku cloud. So this is bearish momentum. And you see the, this one is above the cloud. So you can see the price going up and the cloud is here. And then price is going down below the cloud. Okay, so okay, back to the resistance level. This is the second resistance level, which is pretty far from the first resistance level. So let's see if the price will be able to break through the first resistance level or the first resistance will be strong to push the price back down and hit the support line. Okay, so the next one... Okay, let's look at some oil.
Parameter for the Ichimoku Cloud. So I'm using trading view. So my settings will be this is the parameter that I, I use the default parameter from um trading view. So this will be my default one, which is conversion line length, which is nine, baseline length which is 26, and the rest is followed by 52 and 26. Okay, so for WTI, um, can see that the price is trending below the cloud. So it's kind of um, bearish right now. The price could be going down. So let's see, let's um, look at um, some key levels, some support level to see whether the price will bounce up or down. Okay, give me a second. Seems like a good resistance level over here. The first resistance. Okay, off the cloud first. It's, it's easier to draw it out it. Okay. Can you use this system? Let's try this. Let's see. Oh. Um, when you extend the um, support and resistance line, try not to cut through too many bodies. You just want to cut through the wigs. So I think this will be a good support level. Okay, because it's also, you see, this is a pullback. And then this is, it, and then this price over here bounces off. So this becomes an overlap. Um, overlap support line and and also we can see that there are multiple lines over here I think it could form a good uh, second support the multiple candles touching the same line okay So for um WTI, I can see the price is cover um currently in between the first support and the first resistance level. It could go, it could go down to the first support level, which is also the seventy eight point six um retracement level. Because of this um there there is also a seventy six seventy eight point six retracement level, so this could be a um strong the support level so let's wait to see if the price will bounce okay okay so let's see if the price will bounce and then hit and then go up to the first resistance level or the 61.8 uh fibonacci retracement level Okay, so for the next one, let's look at this. Okay. First support level, I think this will be a good level of support. Hmm. I want to be able to capture this level, which is quite significant. You can see the price you know, drops below the level. Okay, then it also captures this level where the price touches the 1942 level. And then it... Okay. 
Okay. And that's for the first support line. And for the second support level, I can, let me see. Mm, don't seem very strong. It's not slightly far. Um, slightly further from the price. You can take this. It's the second level of support. The price bounces up pretty good, and for here as well, it bounces up. So this can be a pretty um nice um second support. Okay. For the resistance level, I think this will form a resistance. Mm. This over here. Oh, right now the price is cutting through this level upside continuation. Um, we like to see if the price will continue to break through this level, this resistance level, and move up to hit the second resistance level. Okay, I'm gonna use the doctor one for easy referencing. Okay, and this will be my first level of resistance. So the price right now. Let's wait for let's look at the four hour chart. Okay, so even on the four hour chart, you can see the price is right on this level, this resistance level over here. And let's see if it will be strong, a strong level. This resistance level will be strong enough to push the price down, or once it's break through, once it breaks through, it will become the next support level. And then moving towards the first uh resistance over here. It has the potential to break through, but let's see if um the price is strong enough. Hi Chu. Um sorry, just saw your comment. Um, yes, all the recording of the webinar will be recorded. Okay, next will be Euro dollar. Okay, for Euro dollar. This could be a good resistance level. Yeah, I'm gonna set this as the third ones. You can see the price is from this high, it dropped all the way to this level. 
and then it sort of like bounces up. Not a very strong support level. Let's see if I can find another one. I can't seem to find a very good um support level. So now I'm trying to see if there is any uh Fibonacci replacement level or any extension level. I think there will be extension here. Nope. No extension over here, but I think there's some tracement level here. Okay, sorry, that's wrong one. I'm going to use the um, 38.2 level as the level of support. And I can use this as my um resistance level view over here. Okay. So the price right now is also above the Ichimoku cloud. Okay, so it's like overall a bullish momentum. 
moving up towards the first resistance line. Okay, so let's monitor and see if, if it will break through the first resistance line. Because the next one will be pretty far away. Okay, I think this is also okay. Oh. The second one will be over here. So if I were to enter the tree, I would wait for it to go closer to the first resistance level and see if I will uh, to see the overall momentum of the stock. And then I will decide to long or short the tree. Okay, and next we'll be looking at pound dollar. Okay, it's here. This looks like um immediate resistance line. This can be an immediate resistance line here. Okay. Once the price touches this level, you know, it bounces up. Okay. Let's see if I can drag it further to the back, but no, it will be cutting through too many bodies. Okay, I'll just use this as the first resistance level. Oh, pound dollar, um, the current price is 
right on the uh, 50% Fibonacci retracement level and also the immediate resistance line over here. Okay. As you can see, the line when it touch when the price when it touches this line, it bounces up. So let's see if this will be a strong um, resistance level to push the price down all the way to the first support level. And on the first resistance area, you can see there is a sixty eight sixty one point eight percent Fibonacci retracement uh, area. So I think this will be a quite a strong resistance for first resistance level and then also the current resistance level, the immediate resistance level over here. Okay. Please let me know if you have anything, um, um any currency pairs that you like to go through and we can go through together. Okay. Hi, Jaden. Um, what do you use as a confirmation before you enter a trade? Okay, for me personally, um, I will first draw out the support and resistance level. And also looking at the trend right now, whether it is um above or below the Ichimoku cloud, whether it is bullish or bearish momentum. And I will also look at other technical indicators like the stochastic level over here, stochastic. Okay, so, and also for the support, I'll, I'll try to establish the support and resistance line. So we kind of, kind of get to know um if the price is moving in the direction that that, that you want and whether it, the price will be, will be continuing, whether the trend will be continuing. So example for this trade, Okay, somewhere in between the first support and first resistance line. Okay, so personally, I like to enter when, example, if the, the current price either goes up or below um, this current immediate resistance here. So say um, tomorrow, if the price goes open above the resistance line and the 50% Fibonacci level, I will enter over here and wait for it to go up before I sell. Or if the price open below, okay, the support, uh, the resistance line here, then I will short the trade. I will sell. Because of the support and resistance line, so you can see that this is quite a strong um, resistance line. So if it opens below, most likely the trade will be in a downtrend instead. So it'll be in a downtrend instead. So I normally will use the support and resistance um, and also to guide my entry and exit point. So I will try not to take a trade if it's like somewhere in between because the direction isn't very clear. So, okay. Okay, next, um, then look at some indices. Let's look at some indices. Please um comment uh right down in the comment section if you have other um either currency pair or indices that you like to look through together. Okay, let's look at um Dow Jones. Okay, I see gold. Okay, we will look through um gold later on after the down zone 30. Okay. And this can be a first support. It's a pretty nice um multi swing high. And then this can be a second. Okay. 
Okay, so um, just a little um tip. So if you were to draw the um, support and resistance line, so on the last candle, is either you place it on the top of the body of the candle or the top of the wick. Okay, let's try not to put it in between the wick or in on the body. So we can place it either here or here. Okay, so you can adjust around to see if it will connect other if you can connect more wicks so in this case you can connect so if you were to take this on um, top of this wick okay it will also cut across this wick over here so it touches two so the more wicks that you touch um the stronger your support or resistance is This a bit you can adjust it lower your resistance level because it's a bit close to the second resistance. Okay. So for DJ30, you can see it is um, bullish right now with the price above the um Ichimoku cloud. Moving towards the first resistance level. Okay, um, so this is for gold. Okay, so earlier we talked about um we have went through the gone through the gold um indices, okay, but we can go through it again. Okay, let me remove the um, drawings here. I think this will be a good um support line. Okay. This can be a second support line because it's very far from the current price right now. Okay, it touches the points three times. Okay. This will be the first support line and this resistance level. And for the immediate resistance level, you will be somewhere around this level. Okay. see the current price is around the um, first resistance level let's see if it will be strong enough to push the price back down or the price is strong enough to break through this level and move towards the first resistance level okay um now let's look at some aussie dollar Okay, 
think this can be a good um first support level. Alright, okay. It's like a pretty strong immediate resistance level here. And my next resistance level... Kind of far away uh, from the current price. Okay, let's draw some. I'm gonna use the um, sixty one point eight um Fibonacci retracement level as my first resistance. So the first resistance level will be over here, and price right now is currently at the immediate resistance level. Next for Kiwi Dollar. Okay. Um, resistance level. Okay, this can be a quite a good one. Okay, this is over here. So the price right now is above the first support level, right above, moving towards the first resistance level. After this, I guess the second resistance level will be quite far away. Okay, I'm going to use the one. Okay. This will be my second resistance level. Okay, we can look at one more before. Um, okay, let's look at the dollar yen. Yeah, I really like this kind of um. Support and resistance level, remember, it's very clear. You know, there's a swing low, like all the way, it goes all the way down. Like, very strong pullback level. But the price is a little bit far from the current price, so I'm going to use it as my, set it as my second support level instead of the first one. Okay. So our for our first support level you can see the wicks are touching three levels here. Okay. The resistance here and then bounces off. So this looks like um overlap. Okay, and this point can be a good um support uh, resistance resistance level.
Okay, so for dollar yen, you can see that although it's right above, it's still above the Ichimoku cloud. Um, but it looks like it's going down trend. Okay, so when the price touches this resistance level here, okay, it pushes the price all the way down. It hits the first support and it bounces back up again. So now it's currently in between the first support and the first resistance level. Let's see if um this trend will continue or it will break through. Okay, it will bounce back up the it will bounce off the first support and move towards the first resistance level. It's kind of like consolidating right now. So for the second support, I put um the support line all the way to the back to here. Because if I were to leave it here, it only touches one point here. But if I pull it all the way to the back, it becomes a overlap. It bounces off this line and from here. Um it's a resistance. So this is a pullback level, a pullback support which is a stronger support level than um, just a swing high or swing low. Okay, the first one will be over here. And this, this can be the first resistance level. Okay, the second one. Now here. Okay, so you can see the price currently is moving down um towards the first support line. And hopefully the price will bounce back up and move towards the first um resistance level. And this looks like quite a um strong resistance level. Okay, I think I haven't gone through this. Okay. okay, so this will be the okay, the last chart for today. Hmm, seems like a good um Level of resistance here. Okay. Okay, this support line. Um, this is a multi. Okay, let me change the color first. Okay, as you can see, it touches the support line multiple times. Okay, so this can be a quite a good support level here. And if I were to look for a second resistance level, I'd be taking this one. Okay, it bounces off. Okay, as you can see, the price is unable to break through this line, the second resistance line. Whereas for the first one, you, oh, the price bounces off and come back down, hitting the second resistance and come back down. So for this, you can see the price is moving towards the first support line. 
Okay, let's hope that this will be a strong enough support and make the let the price bounce up to the first resistance level. Okay. Okay, a question from Richard. Um, what do I look for to indicate on um, support and resistance level? Okay, I will typically look for a swing low or a swing high. Okay, so for example, this. This is a low, swing low. And this price, you can see, uh, it looks something like a tick. Okay, so you see this is a tick. This tick over here. And here, a tick. So you see like the, the, the prices go from here all the way here. So this is actually a good um support. Just that it's a little bit too far away. I want the price to be closer. So for this, I did not pick this as my support level. And the other one other than, you know, choosing the tick. Or the swing high and swing low. You also can look at the... um. Like example for this, this is a point whereby so many weeks actually touches the line. Okay, so removing the first support line. Okay. So if you put your um cursor over here, you can see, you know, this is a will be a good point. Uh where man, many of the weeks will be touching the line, and we call this a multi-swing. Okay. So it means that the price as touches this price point uh, many, many times, is testing the price over here and it bounces up. So this is how we um, typically look for support and resistance line. Um, so I think it'd be good if we can try on, uh, you know, try drawing some support and resistance line. Okay. So slowly you can, you know, train your eyes so it'll be easier to spot. Okay, so for a start, just look for the high here. So for this second resistance, it's quite um, easy to spot. Okay, so this is a low of the price and then it's swing high. So, so let's say you want to take this line. So after you, you've chosen this um, resistance level, you can pull the line longer and try to see if it connects more. So in this case, it connects more weeks over here. So the more weeks you connect, the stronger the, the support or resistance is. Okay, I hope you, I, I've answered your question. Okay, if there is no more um, questions, uh, thank you everyone for joining um, today's um, live trading session. Okay, we'll see you at the next uh, webinar. Thank you so much. Have a great day.